Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, you guys already know this that are watching this video, probably you've done a few of these SBCs yourself, but EA dropped a Premier League 81 plus two players pack SBC along with a Premier League upgrade. They thought they were doing us, uh, what they thought they were giving us what we wanted um, with this SBC being a basically a league upgrade and you know something that we had been asking for for this entire week of um, this coming out. And they also gave us a Giliano SBC. Um, okay, I, I just saw that, um, sweet. But the these upgrades is what we really need to talk about. I'm, you guys have, again, I get my videos out a little bit later in the day so you know um, that you've already seen this stuff. You know what's going on. You know that people are not very excited about these because they require Premier League cards and that's the whole point that why people are, are upset about this is because they're making these unnecessarily expensive to try I guess to drain coins off the market because their ideology is this this game there's so many more rewards we put out so many more lightning rounds this weekend everybody has a lot more coins so we're gonna up the price of this SBC I, just why it doesn't make sense a lot of people are mad I, I'm honestly very uh, uh, frustrated because it's it's just a pain. They're not giving you the, the the same pack. I don't know what the deal is. I don't think we've have we ever seen this pack before. A Premier League 81 plus upgrade. Like this is a brand new pack. Like yeah. So I don't know why they thought this was a good idea to put it in, um, but they did. So we're gonna be doing a lot of these pa packs, and I have eight of them here to open at the very end. We will open eight of these at the very end. Um, and honestly, I'm going to be grinding these packs because it is the only thing that I have to do. And it's uh, content that I can make. And it's what I've been saving my coins for that it's this, this entire year. It's my only way for me. The only way for me to possibly pack one of these blue cards is from doing this SBC, you know, packing one of these blue cards. I have two days to do it now. Um, thanks to, to, what finally them putting out this SBC. Um, I have two days to pack one of these blues and you guys are probably gonna run through these packs as well. But um, if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of coins, I would probably, there's a way where you can kind of grind this method starting with the bronze packs. It's a really, really grindy method, but you can craft these packs. Um, and I wanna talk about that right now just a bit because a lot of you guys probably wanna know, how, hey, how can I grind these packs? I don't have a lot of coins or I don't wanna spend coins on it. You can start out by doing BPM, opening bronze packs. And even if you have like 500K, if you really wanna do these packs, you could spend like 100,000 coins, maybe 50K doing BPM, doing bronze packs, selling the stuff that sells and then uh, sending the rest to your club and then going into your club and doing bronze and silver upgrades. So these bronze upgrades will turn into two silver players. Those two silver players you can then put into uh, you can accumulate those, put them into the silver upgrade, which will give you three common gold players. And from there, you can turn in those three common gold players into this SBC. So the Premier League upgrade, which is you turn in a squad of um, rare gold players, 40 chemistry, and you get three Premier League players, one of them rare. So then you start stacking up those packs and you can eventually hit the big packs um, which give you, you have to turn in 11 Premier League players, but you get an 81 plus rated Premier League player and you get two of them. So that's kind of the grinding method that you can do with these packs. It takes time. And if you don't have a lot of time, it's honestly not super worth it. I'm going to try to get as many of these up and grinded and possible for you guys. Honestly, I'm just emptying my club of all golds under 83 rated using this method right here. I would not recommend that. Um, but that is an option as well. That's what I'm going to be doing since I have the luxury of, of having um, a chunk more coins than um, a lot of other people do because of that. But hopefully we get the better upgrade packs for the next team this season and for the from here on out, the rest of the team this season. Hopefully we do get those, but I'm going to try my best to pack a couple blue, blues for you guys. I'm going to try to put the negativity aside again. It's just, this promo has just been a crazy disaster. Uh, it's honestly just appalling how it's gone so far. Uh, but I'm going to try to pack some blues for you guys. I'm going to have some packs loaded up each night. I'm going to try to get a video out doing some packs. Um, but I also want to talk about some market because today we also got the Premier League TOTS SBC, this bad boy right here. 170,000 coins is what it costs to complete. I got Doherty, but this is a very popular SBC today. And it really, we're going to look at the, the team here in a second. It really, really changed um, 
these Premier League TOTS players moved so, so much today. Now, I'm, when I'm putting this video out, it's going to be Wednesday, and we're going to be talking a little bit about um, Thursday flipping in this video as well because we need to just speak about what it's going to be this week. These players rebounded big time today. Aguero at 1.88 million coins. I made a big mistake in selling this card right here today. I sold him for like 1.7. Last night I sold two at 178, 179. I, I took like a, a 30 to 40k loss on each card. Look what happened. He was 1.7. The SBC comes out panic selling beforehand. He's 1.7. I saw a few under 1.7. Yeah, 1.6. And he rebounds to 1.8. Because people were so afraid of this SBC, they sold the cards off. And look where his price went. Up to 1.8, 1.9 million coins. It happened with every single card. The biggest one. Alexander Arnold, for the price, like the percentage amount that he went up, he was 500k flat this morning. Look at this graph, 509,000 coins, 512. He goes up to 595, and I did see one sell at 600k. He's still at 590. That's crazy, crazy, ridiculous. Um, on a rise, Sun almost two million coins. Abamyang two four. Just look at the rises in these cars. Ederson stayed low. That makes sense. All right, you know he's going to get packed in that SBC a lot. Um, Allison is low, that makes sense as well. Van Dijk at 1.17, he was 950. I saw Salah today. This this one really gets me. Actually, it might still be on my transfer targets. This Salah today, I saw one and I had it added. Actually, it's probably not here anymore. But I had a Salah today on my transfer targets at 1.81 million coins right before the drop. Yeah, right, oh my gosh, he, went, he was 1.7, bro. No way. He went from 1.7 and now he's selling. He was selling over 2 million coins. If you time this right today, um, you made a, a butt ton of coins because also, as we look back in this, this time right here in the market, when all of these went up, the entire rest of the market went down big time. I bought a bunch of TOTS cards. Actually, I'll show you my transfer list. I don't even think I switched my screen back before. Um, I'm just in a tizzy right now, boys. I bought a bunch of Sule's today, 123,000 coins. There was like a big sell-off after this SBC came. Um, it just people, it was really weird. People just were, they were selling everything. I, I bought a bunch, of, look how many I got for 123K. I got one, one for 120, that one for 121, 123, 120, 119, 120. So I have, how many is this? Like seven, eight Sule's that I got for 120 and he's already back to 140, 150. It was just a weird part of the day today where everybody was just kind of panic selling their stuff. Um, I think I got a Genduzi and a Lala as well. So that was a really good pickup, and the market really went low today on that. But I don't think these Premier League's TOTS cards are done yet. I think they're going to continue to go back down. Today was kind of a fluke. We had the guaranteed SBC, people that didn't pack the one that they wanted to. Um, they panic sold this morning and bought their cards back tonight. And what you're going to see now is these cards are going to, again, trickle back downward into Thursday as weekend league rewards come. Now, Wednesday night, you're watching this video on Wednesday when it goes up. Wednesday night, before rewards, I want you guys to look at this exact page on Footbin. I want you to refresh it, and I want you to keep a watch on these cards, and I also want you to go like through this. Make yourself, make yourself a concept squad. If there are any of these cards that you want, so far, twice this weekend, it's happened, and this week, the buy time for these prices has been in the panic. Don't wait for rewards to come out. Yes, they're going to get packed, um, but watch the panic beforehand because they're just going to shoot up afterwards. So I would almost be a fan of you guys buying these cards in the panic um, Wednesday night in the sell-off before rewards when everybody is going to be looking to pack these cards. It is a bit tricky because you know this, the sell-off is probably going to be pretty heavy, and obviously not that many people are going to pack them from rewards. If the rewards are anything similar to what the guaranteed SBC was today, nobody's going to pack them. A few people will. The pro players might, you know, that they have like four picks, um, and then the special pack as well. But you're not going to see a lot of these cards um, on the market. Today I saw Sterling for 1.01, .01, so just over a million coins. Look where he's at now. I bet this one got bought. Oh, no, it's still there. 1.129, so he's up 100K. A lot of these guys are in that same range, like up 100,000 coins. But if you want any of these cards for your team, I think Wednesday night is your buy time because after that, they're going to go shooting up because people have, have, had times, have had time to open up the packs, these upgrade packs, and they've also had the time to think about, hey, what am I going to pack during weekly rewards 
everybody paid, played Weekend League this weekend to get the rewards. And there's going to be so much concentration of buying back for those cards. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you buy those cards before Weekend League rewards actually do come out or be on the market. If you can be on the market for when rewards do actually come out, whenever it is, my time, I think it's like 3 a.m. So that's maybe like 8 a.m. UK time. If you can be on the market then, watch prices and be active because that might be the absolute lowest time. But for a lot of people, it's not feasible to be on at that time. So buy in the panic sell before rewards. Everything else, it's going to be a great weekend to flip other Premier League meta cards. People are going to build teams on Thursdays that link to their cards. Obviously, Genduzi, if you get a Lacazette, you know, you could play Lacazette at center mid, get a Genduzi, and you have some French links to work from. That's a perfect link between those two as well. Um, Genduzi and Lacazette could work really well in teams, but any Premier League meta card, again, we talked about this last week. What really went up last week just links to these cards. Even guys that have complementary positions like Fabinho. Fernandinho is in this uh, team of the season right now, and he's basically a complement to this Fabinho card. But last week, you saw this, this Fabinho card get sold off down to 410,000 coins. He's back up to 450. Even last weekend, he, he went from 410 back up to 470 in the buyback. Um, so if you're somebody who plays the 4-2-3-1, having this Fabinho and having Fernandinho as your center mids, uh, CDMs, excuse me, in the Premier League, these are, those are your top two guys. Watch this card um, for a buyback as well this weekend, and even like a guy like Conte. Last week, his inform, I, I honestly don't remember what his inform did too much, but this team of the season card did move a lot. His inform is pretty cheap, right around 300,000 coins. That's actually a decent price for his team of the year as well, lower 1.6. But again, watch your meta Premier League players today, especially ones that didn't get tots. Um, I'm talking like a guy like Marcus Rashford, his headliner card, his hero card, the Pogba headliner card. You're going to want to keep your eye on these and uh, really watch those on Wednesday night. That's going to be the major flips this weekend. And as well, just get yourself ready for Bundesliga team of the season. That's the next team of the season that's coming. So start to look at cards that you could link to, um, you know, back over here on Footbin. Start to get your mind ready. I wouldn't buy these cards for Thursday flips. I would stick to Premier League for Thursday flips. But if we're looking Bundesliga, um, I'm probably going to sit on these Sule's, you know, for a while because this weekend, Bundesliga Tots, I'm taking a risk that they might re-release his card. Possibility. I doubt that it'll happen, but it, it is it is a possibility. Um, but cards like this, other Bundesliga meta cards um, that are popular, that are good in the game, uh, and he's not even that good. His stats aren't that great, except for his defending and physical, but he's Bundesliga, and people are going to transition from a lot of Premier League hype focused all around the Premier League. Now you're going to have some Bundesliga hype added in there as well. People are going to be building teams with the Bundesliga. Look at your knockout stage cards. Are there any Bundesliga players in here? I don't see any. It's all Premier League, basically. So we're going to have to go back here to the foot birthday. And I know there's some Bundesliga guys in here for sure. Um, like the right mid Alaba and some other guys. So, um, wow, I see the only one. Witzel. Wow. Center back Witzel. He might get a Tots card, uh, but this would be a very good one to watch because it's out of position. It's a different card. 115K. Excuse me? Is this one here? Witzel center back. 115K. These are the kind of cards that you're going to want to keep an eye on on Friday morning. We'll talk more about this um, in the upcoming days as Bundesliga team of the season does come closer. I'm going to buy that one and just chuck it in the club because even if a few people build Bundesliga teams this weekend, I think this is an, is an easy sell at like 130,000 coins. So I'm going to store that in the club and probably flip that on Thursday flipping. But again, um, let's go open these packs really fast. I've made this video long enough. Hopefully we can get ourselves a blue. That's what I'm definitely hoping for from these packs. I'm going to be grinding them, even though I don't like how much I'm going to have to pay for them. I have the luxury of being able to pay for them. So I'm going to do that for you guys that may not have that luxury. I'm going to be somewhere that you can watch and see, hey, um, this is where I can watch some packs because um, this guy's going to be opening them. So um, if you don't have enough coins to open yourself, don't be afraid. Um, 
I'll be here opening them for you, and we're going to have a lot of packs to open over the next couple of weeks. I really hope they get the upgrades sorted, though, because I don't want to have to keep doing these upgrades uh, the entire time. So we're off to a good start, though. Two for two on the boards. Uh, Juan Mata and Felipe Anderson right off the bat. We'll, we will take that. As you can see, the Tots counter below me is at six. Um, Arnautovic as well in the pack. Nice. Tots counter is at six because today I did the guaranteed SBC and Doherty was the man that I got. And we have a walkout, boys. What are we saying? Is it blue? It is not blue. What could this be? Harry Kane? I haven't packed him all year. Bring him in, baby. Come on, you Spurs. Harry Kane, 90 rated. That's what I'm talking about. And this is... Oh, he's dabbing. Oh, yes. Harry Kane, my man, with the dabs. All right. I'm have enough... Uh, Hype for Harry Kane. All right, we'll get him in the club. He's going to go into an Icon SBC. Um, that's a sick pull, though. A walkout 90-rated Harry Kane out of these 81-plus packs. We're going to keep it going. Sorry about my cringe dabs. I just realized what I just did and dabbing like that. But the pack luck for these has been uh, its been pretty solid so far. Now, I don't recommend doing a lot of these because they're just way too overpriced and expensive. I mean, if you go out and buy these cards... Um, it's like 2k a pop to get one of the Premier League um, rare golds. You're paying like 2,000 coins for each card, so it's not really worth it at all. Um, but I will say one thing. If you are into League SBC grinding, now is your time to do it. Because if you pack any Premier League gold card, if you don't want to do the upgrades, um, every Premier League gold card is selling at 2,000 coins. So if you pack, you know, that makes a lot of packs that you would get from League SBCs a lot more valuable just because of the fact that every Premier League rare card that you pull has a lot more value. Davinson Sanchez, welcome to the club. 84 rated card. So what do we have? We've had uh, a couple couple 84s, two Chris Smallings. We've quick sold them both. A um, couple 83s, the Harry Kane being the highlight. Two more. Can I get another walkout out of these two packs? That would be heavily desired. Um, I also want to say one thing. I mentioned about the League SBC grinding. You can actually pack a Team of the Season card from the lower upgrade SBC, the one that gives you one rare and two non-rares, um, because there are a couple cards that have non-rare base cards that you could actually, since their base card is a non-rare, you could pack it out of those packs. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold is one of them. Doherty is one of them. And I think that might be it. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments down below. But I think a, there are a couple chances you you might be able to get two or three Tots cards um, from those. So we do get another um, another board, but it is not a walkout. Casper Schmeichel. So I'm going to go rinse some of these cards and start working on Icon SBCs with the higher rated ones. Um, and continue to do some of these upgrades because that's what we have to do in FIFA right now. Even though they're not the best, they're way overpriced and way expensive for what they should be. Um, we're going to be hitting the packs because we only have a couple days left of this Premier League Tots promotion. And I'm going to give myself the best possible opportunity at packing any of these cards, especially the main man Erickson would be so, so glorious to have in the squad. Any of them really would be pretty fun to pack. But if you guys enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you do have any questions. I know I was all over the place in this video talking about um, team of the season stuff, talking about Thursday flips, talking about the market, talking about what's going wrong with this content and with this game and this company. Um, but hopefully we'll together in the end for a nice video for you guys to enjoy. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.